Hello, my name is Danita Young, and I'm here today at the WaterSense Labeled Home at the Texas A&M AgriLife Research and Extension Center in Dallas. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for chicken corn soup. I love this recipe and so does my family because it's easy, it's quick, and it's very big on taste. And it's actually pretty low in calories with only about 160 calories per serving. And this particular recipe will serve eight. So I've already started um, heating my chicken stock. I have about six cups here in my stock pot. Now if you're concerned, concerned with sodium, you can always use a low sodium version of your stock. Now to that, we're going to add three cups of cream style corn. Make sure you don't use the whole kernel because it will not come out as creamy. So we're going to add that in. Now to that, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of pepper. Now remember, don't add any extra salt because we want to keep this sodium count as low as possible. And I'm also going to add a half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And if you've never used that before, you're going to really like it because it smells really good. All right, so we're going to just mix that together, incorporate our corn and our oil into our stock. And we're going to let that simmer for a couple of minutes. Now, while that's simmering, we're going to add our chicken. Now, there's a couple of different things you can do with your chicken. We need about four ounces. You can either buy a pre-grilled packaged chicken and chop it up. Or, if you want to save a little money, you can buy chicken breasts on sale, boil those, and chop those. Now today, I did use the grilled chicken. So, I already have that chopped. Now to that, I'm going to need to add a little bit of an agent to sort of hold that together. So I have one egg white, and I'm going to add one fourth cup of water. And I'm just going to whisk that together a little bit, and add that to my chicken. Okay, now I'm just going to mix that together to make sure all of my chicken is coated with my egg mixture. Okay, now that we have that put together, we're going to carefully add that to our soup mixture. There we go. And we're just going to mix that together again. And it's already smelling good and I can smell just a little hint of my sesame oil. Okay, now while this soup is really uh, coming along and it smells good, we need to add some type of thickening agent to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one fourth cup of cornstarch and I'm going to add one fourth cup of water. Now that's pretty simple. We're just going to take a fork or a small whisk and we're just gonna mix this together until we make sure all the powder is nice and smooth with no lumps. I want to make sure we don't have a lumpy soup. All right, now we're going to add that to our soup. And it's going to take a few minutes, I would say probably about five minutes, for that to start working to thicken our soup. So while that's simmering, let's talk a little bit about energy conservation. If you've not already changed the light bulbs in your home to LED, that's always a good idea and will save a considerable amount of energy in your home. Okay, now we have one last step for our soup and we're going to take two egg whites and we're just going to whisk those together a little bit just to fluff those up. And we're going to incorporate that into our soup. Okay, and we're gonna mix it one more time. Now we're just going to let it simmer a couple of more minutes just to make sure all of our ingredients are thoroughly warm, most especially our chicken. Okay, our soup has already been simmering uh, now probably about another five to ten minutes. It smells delicious and we are ready to serve it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in a bowl. And as you can see, I have a little bit of flatbread here to go with it. Always need a little something extra. A side salad would also be good with this. Now this recipe is good during the spring, summer months, as well as the winter, because it's a pretty light soup. Now to this, you can garnish it with many different things. You can use bacon bits, sour cream, chives, but my family loves cilantro, so today that's what we're going to garnish it with. I'm going to put just a little bit of low-fat grated cheese on top. Now I'm going to put a little cilantro in here because that's my family's favorite. But as you can see, it also puts a nice pop of green color in that soup. 
So next time you're wondering what's for dinner tonight, remember to visit us at Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service for more ideas and resources.